Hi, uh, my name is Kishore and uh, today I'm going to do an instructional video on uh, Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 for beginners. So, uh, are you going to learn only a few tips and uh, uh, ways to create slides in PowerPoint because uh, this is for beginners. So, uh, don't expect too much and uh, what I'm going to teach today is how to add pictures or uh, sound clips or uh, movie or videos or uh, how to hyperlink uh, from your PowerPoint slide to a website uh, and uh, so a few more so uh, let's go ahead and jump start with uh, the PowerPoint so uh, let me open the PowerPoint and uh, 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 before it opens uh, let me talk about uh, a few software similar to Microsoft PowerPoint that you can use uh, uh, and these are totally free and I would rather recommend those uh, before using uh, PowerPoint. I think PowerPoint you can use only uh, third for 30 days uh, as free trial and uh, beyond that I think you have to pay uh, unless you have a student uh, dotted you uh, email address. I think for students you can get it for a cheaper price but still I would rather recommend uh, websites like Prezi.com which is for free and uh, a slide share I think even that's for free and also uh, photo story by Microsoft it's a little bit similar to uh, PowerPoint but uh, yes I would recommend that too because it's free um, one more thing I would recommend really uh, well is uh, Google Documents if you have a Gmail account and if you go to your top of the page on the left hand side uh, you see uh, Google Documents and uh, click on the documents and then uh, once you're in the documents uh, web page uh, click on create and uh, choose PowerPoint this is one other way you can create PowerPoint slides for free okay before I start uh, po uh, the PowerPoint presentation what is PowerPoint? Uh, PowerPoint is something similar to index cards probably used as a child or as a student so if you number your index cards serially and then you want to show them to a wider audience uh, uh, it, uh, then it becomes automatically similar to uh, PowerPoint uh, that's what you do when you share your slides to wider audience so when you uh, start and uh, click on the icon for uh, Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 this is the interface how it looks like so let me quickly walk you through uh, the console and uh, uh, this is called uh, Microsoft uh, I mean uh, uh, quick tips toolbar and uh, this is these are the tabs usually you have seven of them and under each tab when you click on that uh, you have uh, groups uh, groups of icons and uh, or buttons which you can click on and uh, which I'm going to talk about in a few minutes so the quick access toolbar and uh, then the tabs and uh, various groups under each tab so we have home we have insert we have design we have animations we have slideshow we have review we have view uh, in the tab and then an add in tab uh, as a beginner you don't need to learn about everything but uh, the first thing always you need to focus on when you uh, open a PowerPoint uh, blank slide is uh, animations uh, uh, is the design first actually so uh, as I click on designs or as I hover my mouse on them you can see uh, these are custom design uh, or pre-designed templates which you can use uh, for your uh, PowerPoint presentation so, so you can see as I click on them uh, the color and also the font and everything changes so uh, uh, for this uh, presentation I'm going to use uh, uh, this uh, design uh, and uh, uh, even the slide this is uh, what we call a slide and uh, in the slide you have uh, uh, this is a title bar and uh, this is a subtitle box uh, we can call them text boxes so uh, this came uh, along with the design so uh, I'm going to uh, use them uh, for today uh, so I'm going to use an example and uh, that's American history and uh, uh, while we design a few slides uh, based on American history and uh, especially we can include Louisiana history in that and uh, we're going to insert pictures like uh, a rustic picture that uh, uh, looks more like uh, gives a feel of Louisiana 
and the state flower for Louisiana, the magnolia, and uh, also the bald eagle for uh, the United States. Uh, uh, we're going to ta uh, add a few slides on presidents of United States, and uh, I'm going to do a, a few slides on uh, presidents like uh, Herbert Hoover and uh, Roosevelt. So uh, let's go and start. Uh, when I click the Home uh, tab, as you can see here, w we have an option to uh, insert a new slide. So the left side, we call this the navigation panel or the navigation bar, and uh, here. You can see it, the number of slides you have and uh, all the text you can see uh, in the outlines tab. So uh, for the time being, I'm going to go back to slides and uh, I chose the slides uh, tab. So uh, if I want to add a new slide, I just click on uh, this tab and you, you can see that uh, it added a new slide. We have various options to see these are uh, custom uh, pre-made uh, if you want to use like a se section head header type of uh, slide or uh, two contents like when you try to compare or describe or things like that or you put a picture here and put some text here and that's uh, way too and you can see the comparison uh, uh, it is what it means so uh, most of the time I would rather recommend starting always with the blank slide and going to a uh, text box and uh, inserting a text box uh, that's the way uh, you can create some really good slides uh, uh, that are apt and uh, palatable and presentable. So, okay, I, I come back and uh, let me explain what these uh, individual uh, tabs or buttons uh, do. Okay, I come back to uh, our first slide and then I want I want to add some text here, so I click on to add uh, title, and my title is going to be American History. So, and uh, I want to add a subtitle. I want to say uh, like uh, Louisiana and American History since Great Depression okay so uh, we are done with new slide and uh, this is a layout tab and uh, this is much more similar to the uh, one we did it here so you can choose uh, pre-designed layouts uh, and uh, you can reset it back always and uh, uh, we can uh, talk about that later the most important uh, groups are the one here and the one uh, this one with uh, uh, alignment. Uh. So uh, the first uh, group I'm going to talk about today is the font uh, group. Uh, as you can see, a font is each alphabet in the way it's been uh, uh, written. I mean, uh, if you write it like a hand write, when you print it, you print it in a long way. Sometimes you italicize or uh, things, uh, so on and so forth. So there are various uh, pre-designed uh, fonts, and as I click on that, you can notice. Always, I uh, select the text, and then. I choose a certain type. I, I'm just holding my mouse on uh, the phone and you can see uh, how it looks like. It's a preview and it's not permanent so I can uh, simply hover and uh, see how it looks. Uh, so uh, I'm going to use Arial uh, for the time being. Okay and this is the size of the phone. You can see as I hover again uh, the si uh, font size uh, changes and uh, usually for the title it's better to use a larger font so uh, it came with 40 and I'm going to leave it 40 so okay and uh, what is this button it, it this is uh, to increase or decrease the font size so again I select the whole thing and I click on it and you can see uh, the font size increasing and the memory is also increasing uh, at the same time now it's 54 we started with 40 so I want to go back to 40 and uh, this is the uh, tab uh, you press to uh, come back to your uh, normal size and also when I, you you messed up and you thought you want to go back to your uh, previous uh, version then you just uh, 